today we'll talk about why crypto ETFs could go big. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's head into it. Blockchain ETFs ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are baskets of investments that can include stocks, bonds, or even other commodities. Blockchain ETFs are ETFs that include shares of companies known to have invested in or incorporated blockchain technology into their business. And just like any ETF, investors should consider what companies are included and what that means for your overall portfolio. You can minimize your risk by investing in an ETF that holds blockchain-involved companies, but you still shouldn't consider these funds to be necessarily low risk. The biggest thing to understand when investing in blockchain ETFs is what holdings are actually in the fund. The term blockchain carries a wide-ranging definition these days. Cryptocurrency enthusiasts and the exchange-traded fund industry are bracing for the first Bitcoin futures ETF to begin trading Tuesday, when the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF is scheduled to debut at the New York Stock Exchange. There is, however, one catch. The ETF goes active unless the SEC objects to the filing, which can happen right up until midnight Monday. Despite that uncertainty, many believe the odds are in favor the ETF will begin trading as scheduled. I would give it a 75% chance of approval, ETF Trends Director of Research David Nadig said. Bitcoin ETFs – What Should We Expect? The ETF is based on Bitcoin futures that trade on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. It's a disappointment to many in the Bitcoin community who would prefer a pure play ETF backed by physical Bitcoin. They complain that the high cost of rolling into futures contracts will not adequately track the spot price of the cryptocurrency and that the SEC should proceed to approval of a pure play Bitcoin ETF. A futures is a derivative of the spot market. So if you're comfortable with futures, why wouldn't you be comfortable with the spot market? Grayscale Investment CEO Michael Sonnenschein said. Grayscale is a digital currency asset manager. It runs the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The company has indicated it intends to convert GBTC into a Bitcoin ETF should they receive regulatory approval. Regardless, the most Bitcoin activists and the ETF community are cheering it as a small but crucial step to open the crypto market to a much wider audience. This is a crawl, walk, run market. The smallest step the SEC can take right now is to launch a Bitcoin futures market because it's a regulated market. Bitwise Asset Management Chief Investment Officer Matthew Hugan said, That fact, that futures are a regulated market, is critical to understanding why SEC Chair Gary Gensler is likely to allow a Bitcoin futures ETF to begin trading, but not a pure play Bitcoin ETF. How Bitcoin ETFs Will Help Regulators Gensler wants to be supportive of financial innovation like crypto, but he lacks regulatory authority over critical areas like crypto exchanges. Gensler wants to be innovative and yet balanced, Hugin said. He doesn't want to kill financial innovation. He wants to crack down on the fraud and nefarious elements and the criminal activity. He wants to put a regulatory framework around it. But he doesn't have a regulatory framework, at least not yet. It's likely that Congress will need to step in and provide a broad regulatory structure for the whole crypto space. But the chances of that happening soon are slim. However, the crypto space is growing so fast, Gensler is under enormous pressure to do something. The SEC can only go so far in claiming regulatory jurisdiction without ruffling the feathers of the other agencies. So the temporary solution is to allow a Bitcoin futures ETF to begin trading. A Bitcoin futures ETF allows the broader public to get involved without many of the problems around owning the virtual currency. First, you don't have to worry about custody. There's also no one complaining they forgot their exchange password. And there are no issues around someone owning Bitcoin on an unregulated exchange who had their crypto stolen by cyber thieves. Can a futures market be manipulated? One big reason a Bitcoin ETF has not been approved is the worry over market manipulation. A similar concern has been expressed about a Bitcoin futures ETF, that the futures market could be manipulated by the spot market. In a recently released paper, Hugan and his associates at Bitwise Asset Management claim this worry is unfounded. We have showed that the CME Bitcoin futures market is a leading source of price discovery in the Bitcoin market worldwide. Prices move first on the CME ahead of Coinbase, Kraken, and other offshore exchanges. The CME is the big dog. The the spot market doesn't wag the future's tail. ETF Trends Nadig agreed, noting that in the commodity world, pricing has long been dominated by the futures. The futures is where the liquidity is. Hugan has taken this reasoning one step further. Bitwise on Thursday filed for a Bitcoin ETF that would hold the actual virtual currency, not futures, arguing that the market is sufficiently mature. This is not your grandma's Bitcoin, it is a mature market, Hugan said. How is starting? The SEC is unlikely to take that next step and approve a pure play Bitcoin ETF. At least, not yet. They will likely want more regulatory control over the spot market and will want further proof that the regulated market is doing a good job and not being manipulated by the spot market for Bitcoin. 
should the ProShares ETF begin trading Tuesday, others will likely quickly begin trading, including the Invesco Bitcoin Strategy ETF, the VanEck Bitcoin Strategy ETF, the Valkyrie Bitcoin Strategy ETF, and the Galaxy Bitcoin Strategy ETF. Hugen said Tuesday will be a big day for crypto investors. This is a positive step. People should cheer for it. You don't see regulatory courage like this too often, Hugen said. What do you think about crypto ETFs? Would you invest in them? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.